Oh, hi, I'm Sailor Yarnis here, and today, Amara here, and today we're going to talk about, okay, we're still, well, one thing we're going to talk about, and I don't think we ever going to get any more off of this than we did. All right. But this goes way back to 2010. Wow, that's how long this goes back to. Now, keep in mind that we will never truly know anything that happened about how the hacking occurred. Now, everybody's going to have their beliefs, true. But no one really knows anything for sure. All right. Time spanned it. The time span happened, well, somewhere in April. Now, keep in mind, it was a Friday when all this happened. There was a rainstorm, no big deal. But where we lived before, it was a big deal because we always had a tree, always seen it knock down wires every once in a while. So, and it seemed to happen a lot. So, in the last film that was being made on Sailor Moon Red at the time was a Sailor Pluto film. But keep in mind, this was back when we didn't have any of them. And the only things we did have were likenesses that we got off the interwebs. So, we're making it, and it happens. Now, you can't do anything about that. So, that means we were still signed in. But keep in mind, back then, this was back when your Google reckoning and your YouTube reckoning, while well, your reckonings to anything, were all separate. And it was, you could have two unlike sign-ins for each other that we did. We had one sign, we had one reckoning for getting into Google and one reckoning for getting into YouTube. And this was before you, this is before Google made it where your Google reckoning was your was your reckoning for all your Google things. But that wouldn't happen until later on. So the lights get knocked off again. And uh door and this was always seen to be a big thing. It was. During the time in Pin Hills Township, yeah, that always seemed to be the thing. So, and we left. There was nothing we could do. Power went and the lights wouldn't be back on until Sunday. So, we left. And somewhere on that Saturday, keep in mind, we, uh, this was back, even where we went to before, we didn't have the interweb at that point either. So, we left and for that whole weekend, we didn't know anything. And then someone told us that somehow someone, either who had been working hard for, that would have been at least, not even a year, may have just been one year at that point, had worked for close to one year and got lucky and figured out either the pa either the password to the Google reckoning or the password to the YouTube reckoning at the point they were two unlike passwords but they must have been weak and someone gotten into them and removed a close to one year worth of films it would have never it would have been two years but with keep in mind that at that time Salem and Red had only been opened for about a year. It wouldn't make two years into October of that year and they never got to that point. So someone got in and removed every film that was ever made and then shut it down. Their, their, their grounds was that, oh, you made too many films. Well, back then, the haters thought they won. That was like their big win at that point. Because back then, they truly hated, well, and the haters still don't like what we do, but that was like their big thing. Okay? 
They just didn't see us coming back with many other reckonings after that. We did. And if they were in a bitch that we made too many films back then on Sailor Moon Red. Well, and that wasn't done because the hacking was probably the biggest thing that has ever happened. You know. And then there were other shit that they would do. You know. And that was what happened to Sailor Moon Red. That one, we had opened that one October of 2008 YL. And some jerk has shut it down by to by April 2010 YL. But still this day, we don't know exactly what happened to that. And yes, there were the false flaggings. And that started up around 2010 and ended around 2013 YL, of course. And that was what led to Sailor Moon Red 1, Sailor Moon's Best 1, Sailor Moon's Best 2, Sailor Moon on Tube, Sailor Moon Red 1, 2, 3, 4. You know, led to all of them and where they went. But that's going to be another film for another day. This film is going to be this film. And to this day, and, and when it happened, everyone had their beliefs. Some folks said they knew who did it. Others thought that the passwords were weak and it only could take someone a year or so to guess them. Well, if it took them a year, a year and a half to guess them. And keep in mind, this is back then, I really didn't know about what a strong or a weak password was. I knew that folks used all kinds, worked at all kinds of tools that could get them that like password seeking tools, but weren't always accurate. They were hitting misses and most hackers didn't use them because they were hitting misses and it implies you being there for a whole year or maybe even longer. Others like to use spyware, like to use looking in where, you know, some kind of tool that lets someone see where all your keystrokes were. So then they could, you know, start typing in everything like you did. Which only worked if you had to type in your stuff. If you already had all your stuff saved to your web browser, you know, as you know, then it might not work for them. But it, it only worked if you had to type in your shit. But... Keep in mind, we didn't know back then about all that. And still that day, that is one thing that we never, ever let happen to us again. Because after that, we learned we made a strong password. And the password that we've been using ever since then has never been fought out. You know? And either, that's either, uh, and I, and you know, and that's the thing. So it is what it is. That's what happened to sale. That's what happened a long time ago. And still to this day, we'll never truly know exactly what happened. You know, I'm Sarah Yornis Mara. Hope you like this film.